Semi-finals right now. I'm your commentator as well, joined by... Hi, I'm Akhil, your favourite commentator as well. Obviously. Now, I've been out of this since mainly uh, I've been playing in the tournament and I got in the top cut, but here I am out of the top cut. So, as a favour, I'll be commentating. Well played throughout until you reach top cut. That's congratulations as itself. It is Akhil. Thanks a lot, Ismail. Now, uh, before we go on, we'd like to clarify a few things. Previously, it was supposed to be Chan Ji Yoon versus Shahi Raza. But due to some technical errors with the treaty, both of the treaty has to be different regions, therefore we have to put two other players who are also in the semi-finals, in this case, Kuo Sti and uh, Gary Ng. We've seen Kuo's battle in the round before against, um, who is it, one Akili for the matter. And Kuo's had a dominant um, matchup, right? Because of his Meow Stick um, and Xerneas lead. Yeah. Big 6 variant, it seems that with Meow Stick having full support and light screen and reflect, yeah. which is pretty cool, is it? Now, uh, moving on to Gary's team, I think. Uh, what? It's um, a double Ger primer? Uh, Jerry's definitely running double primer here, even we've seen in the Swiss rounds, right? Like the Kyogre and Ogre and Groudon team for that matter. Um, I've never even run Gr Kyogre and Groudon. What do you what's your perspective uh, on this? I, I myself run double primer. Yeah, yeah. uh, the good thing about oh. it is that it helps a lot in dealing with the Pokemon. Well, uh, we'll move on to the screen, the Pokemon yeah. selection screen now. On our All right. screen, we have Quos. As the bottom chain, you can see down there, he is running Talonflame, Salamence, Meowstic, Groudon, Smell, and Xerneas. Now, if you were on the stream before, you know this team, but if you are not, then this essentially is a big six plus Meowstic in this case. Yep, definitely. Whereas on Gary's own, you, which you can't see on the screen above, he is running a Scizor, like I said, Double Primal, Salamence, Thunderous, and Gengar for that matter. Now, what's interesting in both team is that even though it's a big six variant, it, it does not carry. Uh, Kangas can't speak yeah, up. Yeah, not carry Kangas, can, which is usually the crux of the team. It helps a lot with the pick up pressure and yeah. dealing with, mainly dealing with uh, random, I guess, other Xerneas and say Kyogres, which the Groudon might not be able to. True, he must have very full confidence of ways of dealing with Kangas can't pick up for that matter. For him to not even consider the Kangas can't to even stay or sacking off the Salamence, right? Correct. No, uh, on Gary's team, on oh, Gary's team right here, I mean, there's so much to say, right? You have Scizor and Gengar. I mean, you have two months like dedicated just to take out Xerneas. I, I guess so, because you have yeah. Scizor here providing a pseudo support and kill, and as well as priority kills. With, yep, definitely. With, with, with obviously bullet punch boosted by its ignition ability, and the fact that it can run faint, along with Gengar, which usually is the numeral Uno counters to Gengar scans with. Uh, Yep, true. It affects with uh, not only the skill of but also the of the skill swap on the beach for double primal teams is very, very uh, beneficial. Now, yep. we want to dial screen right now and see what Pokemon needs to very, very talented brain that send out as As we do see, Quos sends out his Nelson and Salomon's lead right here. Shiny, very, very steady. Let's see. Definitely. And Gary's gonna lead off with Gengar and Scizor at the moment right here. Now, I believe that on Gary's team, like, he's provided a very Somewhat safe because he was really anticipating that Xerneas to come out right now. Yeah, <laughs> now, uh, we've already seen that the Meowstic does carry light screen for that matter. Correct. He could easily go for a light screen and. Yes, it's a job. I see wind should come out. Should come. Yeah. If he's even carrying the face. I don't think um Gary's gonna mega evolve any of his Pokemon right here because I'm pretty sure the items are much crucial right here. Yeah, you, like what you say, you do see a faint. I see it so oh, oh, I mean, this is Simon's avoid. This is for the Meowstic to actually launch up and attack because as we see with his ability Frankster, it did not go for or yep, and this is a side shot going on to the game. Side shot, taking out that Gengar turn one, which is very beneficial yep. for Kuo's in this Yeah, and Kuo's has speed advantage because of the Icy Wind Mist. Correct. Regardless, even if Nelson had the speed drop, its prankster ability is there. It has the support to provide. So, so now it's basically three games now that the Salamence and essentially is on can double edge, can go for yep, uh, true. Hyper Voice. Exactly, and the Scizor's at minus one attack. So, right, so it will out. be able to do much distance. Yeah, damage output on Gary's side right now is not looking great. A little bit unfortunate, I see. Here we go, Kyogre coming in. Without having the speed advantage, a double edge is going to hurt on Kyogre. Um, double edge, or yeah, definitely, definitely a double edge for that matter. He has to take out the Kyogre, but he could be switching 
Um, wait, I'm, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. Kosi has a primal ground for that matter. Yeah, he has a primal ground for that. So, but I think the most obvious move is to go for an ice cream. He has to, he can't risk the weather switch in right here. Oh, a little bit of technical difficulty here, folks. Sorry. Yeah, alright, now you can hear my beautiful and handsome voice, but that doesn't matter, what matters now is the battle. Alright, alright. So you got a bullet punch from this. He's on onto the Meow Stick, oddly. I was thinking he would Doing go for... Doing about five damage right there, folks. Yes, but... So you got light screen, I assume another hyper voice would come out from the Salamence. No, it's actually a double edge hype. I mean, into the Kyogre, very obvious move very there. Very obvious because it's, uh, if you were to go for Hyper Point, it's double attack spread. And it, and it loses the damage, he won't pick up the KOs anyway. Yeah. So he was I'm thinking of, I'm thinking uh, he would go for as maximum damage on the Kyogre as possible. Yeah, giving, leaving way for the Groudon to come in right now. Correct, now with the Groudon coming in and with the light screen on, yep. it, it, not really much that uh, Gary can pull off here. Yep. Kose is definitely going to go for a Reflect, knowing right. that the Scizor is out. It, it's, uh, He's got attacked, um, I'm thinking this turn, like, if he, if Kose does switch in. Oh no, he actually switches in Talented, oddly. Well, I'm guessing the Brave Bird would, would benefit it. And uh, right now, it can, it's easy pickings for the Talent Flame to pick up on either Kyogre or Scizor. Yep. I'm not really sure what can Meowstick pull up right here, because I mean, the screens are already... The screens are, I think the best thing for it is to switch out to Groudon right yeah, now. Yeah, I think that's the best play as well. Get the weather advantage right now, and the Talent Flame can go, easily go for Flare Blitz if you want to. Correct. Do. Because I think it has been mitigated, mitigated with the light screen. With the light screen up, exactly. And yep, mm -hmm. Kyogre actually switches out. Yep. And I assume that Groudon comes in here. Nope, no, Salamence. and actually it's Salamence, so it reveals to have its Intimidate, which I think is beneficial for the Groudon at the back. Yep, true, definitely. But uh, if Nelson were to switch out right now, as we do see, definitely a Groudon is going to come in here. If and it has, it's still not minus one. For but uh, now that the Meowth actually switched out before, I mean after the Salamence came in, it means that Groudon will not be intimidated. Exactly. So that, that's kind of a bit of a foul for Gary there. Not but he needed, isn't so good, yeah. But he needed the weather advantage to be honest. He can't lose the Correct. weather right now. And so here I assume, uh, would we, yep, a Flare Blitz into the Scizor. Very obvious move, honestly. Yep. There's a no risk play for him. Right? Yes, and now like, now that he's down, uh, two, to down to his last two Pokemon, uh, I would say the weather war is won by Kose. Yeah, definitely, no doubt right here. Because right now, regardless, the Kamen could easily go for a Brave, a brave Bird. Will, I don't think it will pick up the Knockout onto because Kyogre. of the Intimidate. Onto the Kyogre. Yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure. It could be a bulky Kyogre. Alright. But we'll have to see, can Groudon even attack the Salamence right Correct. Now? We need to see. I'm both. guessing the Groudon switches out. Though. It's yeah. a very obvious move here. Will we see a protector come down from Talon right here? Maybe. I think in the Salamence could go for an easy uh, Hyper Voice. Double Edge in Double Edge into the Talon Flame? Yes, definitely onto the Talon Flame right and now. I'm thinking a very good move here. If he has Origin Pulse, this is where your Origin Pulse. Yeah. Your Origin Pulse and you go for a Hyper Voice. So you get as maximum damage as possible. Alright, we see a Meowstick switching right here from the Groudon slot. Unless the, I think the Kyogre should protect this, yeah. Yep, not risking the Brave Bird coming out right now. Because Salamence, if it were to go for a Hyper Voice, the recoil from its uh, Brave Bird is going to knock it out. So here we go, protect. Yep, yeah, and we see Mega Salamence going for a Hyper Voice. And actually goes for a Tailwind, getting the speed advantage. I think that's a very smart move there. Yep, definitely. Alright, we see a double edge going on to the Nasty Slot. Goes on to the Talonflame Slot, but it actually only gives an advantage to uh, to Kose's side because now he has a very fast Groudon. Very fast Groudon, but he still needs a way to knock out the man. I think a light screen would yeah. be enough. And what's left is just to, erupt, to use Eruption or Rock Slide if he yep. has it. A light screen and a double spread move. Correct. Right. Unless, of course, it misses. Oh, hey, we've seen those plays. We've seen those plays. We've seen those plays. See, these things happen a lot, you know? Even in the previous round, for that matter. Correct. I mean, uh, of course, it does make the game a li little bit more RNG based, but. You know, it's but the spice of life. That's yeah. what Pokemon's about. It's the spice of life. The spice of life, ladies and gentlemen. We'll hear it first from Akin right here. So, uh, of course, uh, without these kinds of things, it'll, it'll only be a game of skill. But here we got a reflect coming out from the Meowth. Yep. Very obvious. Yep, definitely. But I'm thinking a uh, hyper voice would be really good here. So and actually, goes for the precipice plane. But I guess uh, it's just to ensure the knockout on the Kyogre. Yep, definitely. Unless, of course, but he didn't miss. <laughs> it's, 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 but we have to see whether does he have a way. Yep, and we do see Hyper Voice. And that's how much damage it does with the light screen still on. Yeah, I think. Oh, five damage. Only 
very, 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 well, I'd say respectable 25% anyways. Yeah, I mean that light screen really Yeah, it, re it really helps right out. Now, now this one like, yep, oh and the reviews actually have rock too. So this picks up the KO, I'm, no, okay, it doesn't. It doesn't. Regardless, but now the speed advantage is even better. Yeah, this is side shot, yes, coming out, coming out. I think it's just to pile on the damage here. Yeah. And it actually does pick up the KO there, so does this mean that the Miyase is actually offen oh, offensive? Oh. Hmm, I'm, interestingly I'm enough. Sure. I guess it doesn't need to run any more defensive. True. Because uh, of the screen. Yeah, because of the screen already allows it to have these defensive investments without it. Alright, now this brings up the question, can Gary adapt towards the I'm screen? I'm pretty sure he can. He just needs to pull up the same move in the first turn. He, needs to get, he, want, he needed to get the Icy Win in the first turn. That was the thing that kind of turned his whole match yeah, around. Yeah, true. The icy wind missing really cool. It, it would have he needed it. He would have pulled out the KO. It would have been enough for the whole. I'm pretty sure it would be enough to get him the KO on the Salamence and slow down his Mastic as well. Definitely. But regarding post sight, I mean, if you if the screen play is not going to work out for him, potentially a Smuggle Zernius. Yeah, Smuggle right Zernius would work out. That's I mean, it, it went 4 0 oh, just now in uh, top cut round 1. So Correct. We'll have to see whether it's going to work out. We'll have to see what's going to happen this turn. Yes. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm, don't think he's, he's gonna lead with Smuggle Zenius, knowing that he has, uh, Gary has Scizor and Gengar right here. Correct. Right, at the back there, it wouldn't be, uh, it, it wouldn't sense. be easy, I'd say. Yeah. All right. Plus, uh, we didn't see any life off from the Scizor. Yeah, that's true. So, potential lung berry if the Smuggle were to go for a dark void on Scizor. Yeah, I think like that's one way for Scizor to mitigate for uh, Gary to mitigate uh, shenanigans of dark void. Yeah. From but regardless, here we go, we are going into the stream and let's see what these two players will lead with. Alright, if Coast wins this, he's gonna go in for top okay, top for final. final. Yeah. Did you see Salaman Salaman? Yeah, Salaman Salaflame lead. So, both Chinese. Both Chinese, yep. Very aesthetic. Very aesthetic. Aesthetic. And oh, actually going for a Salaman Thunder. Now, I think this is a very favourable position from Coast's uh, side very here. Side. Because Regardless of what happens here, he can Thunderbolt, he can Thunder Wave, he can hit a Power Ice if he has it, of if course. He has it, yes. But most importantly, I find here is that even if one of uh, Coulson's Pokemon switches out for Groudon, he can still uh, threat. Basically, since he's threatened them into the Groudon switch, so therefore his Salamence can easily go for a Hypo Voice and get a respectable amount of damage. True, true, true. Alright. The question is, is what will he do? I think I'm I'm pretty sure here the talent flame should go for uh, a tailwind Tail or Tail or just switch out. Yeah. I think tailwind is the best move. Tailwind here. is the best move. Stack up the talent flame, bring in the ground on, and hope for the best. And hope for the best. Yeah. <laughs> that is, if his own Salamence doesn't have tailwind. Tailwind. Oh, true. Well, if Gary is carrying tailwind on his uh, Salamence as well. That's why. To match now, tailwind. You now here we have like a, a various form of speed controls. You know that. Uh, the Talon Flame carries the Tailwind, but we don't know whether. Nope. Yep, here we go. Up. I'm down. guessing Groudon comes in this turn. Yep. yep. Groudon does come in this turn. It's a very obvious movie. I think. Uh, yeah. Getting the Thunderbolt from the Thunderbolt right now. Yeah, Gary yeah, should go for a Tailwind on the Salamence if he has it. If he has it right now, now's the chance. It would, it would give him a very high advantage. And just hit a Power Ice onto the. Uh, is that again? Onto the Salamence, yes. Yeah. Yeah. See where they're going up live right now. It depends on who wins the speed tie, anyways. True, true. Or Gary will catch him here for me. Oh, correct. Uh, I mean, like, for all we know, post might have Dra uh, Draco Meteor on it. But we just see Gary being speed right now with Mega Evolve Yes, and okay, Salamence actually goes for a Protect. So if he does go for a Tailwind Distant, it will be very, very good for him. But no, it actually goes for a Hypo Voice. The additional damage on this one. That does about 40%. I'm not, I'm not gonna recommend it, honestly. <laughs> but there we go. Respectable damage on the Groudon. Now, honestly, he can go for a Hidden, uh, hidden Power or Thunder Wave onto the Salamence, which is very, very good in my opinion. Yes, he's packing it. Definitely. Yeah. Because we're all we've seen just Thunderbolt attack. Correct. We've not seen any hidden powers coming out right now. Uh, I'm guessing here. Forgive me. That. Forgive uh, me. That the Salamence switches out into something that he would want to sack. I guess. Yeah. yeah. I guess into the Miastic would be nice, since that it takes the least amount of damage from. True. Uh, from the, yep, there you go. And go so and he conserves his Intimidate by doing so, and he sends out the Meow State, which is, I think, is the best move. And we might just see a Protect from here onto the Groudon. So yeah, like Groudon that. should go for Protect. No, he doesn't. Nope. Because I'm pretty sure he can survive a another, Hyper Voice. Another Hyper Voice should be able to survive. And going for a potential Rock 2. Yeah, rock, I think the Rock 2 will definitely go on either the Groudon or the... Oh, and... No, just yep. Five parts going to Thunderous. I think it will go to Thunderous, and if it's not an offensive one, it will pick up a KO. And it's not, yep. Yeah. Here we go. 
It's about it's your VGC oh. 15 bulky thunderous. Yep. And that groudon probably is not fully attack invested. Yeah. Probably. Now I think Quotes has to rely on screens right here if he can break through paralysis and hope that the Pokemon in the back can pick up KOs. Right Correct, now. that's for sure. I mean Groudon just he can't outspeed anything. Groudon's kind of a sitting duck on this game. It, it's honestly a sitting duck right now. And Meow if he wants to wait, he needs to break through paralysis right now. So right, right, there we go. I think the screen's gonna come out here. Uh, definitely light screen will be tried to get unless he goes for a taunt, but if that thing has a mental herb, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. Do you see mental herb coming out here? And you yes, it is a mental herb. So there we go. Light and screen. a light screen does pop out. Great super Now, if he wants cherry on the cake right now, he can serve a reflect on the if, if he If he avoids the next one, of course. True, true, true. But I think now it, it, they're both in range of just another hyper voice kill. Yeah, definitely. So, of course, it's a bit of a bind here since. Uh, his Meow Stick is not only paralyzed, but it's also at a hit speed enough for a Hyper Voice to kill. True, definitely. So it's got a hope to set out that Reflect first, but with another Taunt coming in, I don't think it's possible. True, true, another Taunt. Yeah, yep, and it's got, it mitigates any Reflex or Screens from coming out here. Yeah. Oh, we didn't even see Mario go for any uh, yep. special shenanigans right now. Correct. Because we, we have Breakthrough Paralysis, but we see a Salmon go for Hyper Voice first. Yeah, so it's actually just easy game for him, honestly. Yep. Right now we do see Kroos setting out Crosby's blue restricted launch right now, draw down in Zergus. Oh sorry, Salamence, we've seen Salamence before the Intimidate. Interestingly enough, it's a Salamence. Oh wait, of course, and he gets the Intimidate on. And yeah, I guess it works in tandem since he has light screen out, so the Intimidate works well. True, but true. lest we forget, he can always just switch out his Salamence. Yep, to mitigate the... Uh, yeah, and I think it's already minus two attack since it never switched out. It is. So Salamence is in a very good position, he just needs to switch out to get back its hit. To get back anything, I think right now uh, it's very good for him to bring in Kyogre, maybe sack Kyogre, and then later on bring Groudon for the for the end game. No, I, I guess Groudon Salamence is the end game is great. Groudon, yeah, yeah. Groudon Salamence is the end game, and, and he has to uh, wear off the light screen. Okay. Yeah, so he really needs a few turns. For him. I think he'll protect, let Thunderous die, bring in Groudon, switch out into no no, bring in Kyogre, Kyogre. and then like threaten with the ice beams, let it take damage it irregardless. And then like Salamence will come in later on. Here you go. You and no protect. protects. So I'm thinking he's going another for just another hyper voice. Yeah. And it does not it's pick up voice. the KO. What? Wow. That's if he thunder really wins, the Salamence is gonna be really nice. Do we see it right here? Yep, yeah. yes, there we go. Because here we Talonflame is not a really a threat anymore if yeah. he has Groudon at the back. So wow. once again, hyper voice bringing it even with and the, the light screen. And yes, yeah. the Salamence is paralyzed. So oh, here wow. Thunderous like, can, can go for another sneaky, cheeky, bricky Thunder Wave. Thunder Wave or Protect, doesn't matter. Yeah, but I think as a support Thunderous, it does not have Protect. Oh, true. Point taken. And yeah, Talonflame actually goes for a Tail which I think is a very smart move, but then again, he's only wasting this third. Yeah, he's only wasting his light screen turn. He Correct. should go full offense right now, more than ever. There we go. It does not actually <laughs> kill the... <laughs> oh oh my right god. Here. Oh, and we just try for There we go. Oh, and is that, is that a critical crit hit? That no, it's not. I don't think it is. It's just max special attack. Yeah, but now just Groudon needs to come in. No, even Kyogre I coming in is fine. In fine yeah. Oh, and it actually reveals some Gengar, so will the Icy Wind connect? <laughs> it better connect. <laughs> Did even see Cross our fingers and hope it connects, man. If it doesn't want to risk it, you could easily go for a Sludge Bomb for the moment. Yeah, but Salamence could always protect. Salamence. I think the most important is to take out the Talon the Sal Talon Talon this turn. Yeah, regardless. And the and the Mance is paralyzed. Gengar is faster regardless. So here I guess yeah, Sludge Bomb onto the Salamence. Onto the, the Gengar, I think. Yeah, just go for a sludge bomb onto the Yeah, it really uh, it's necessary. Yeah. Don't wanna risk that I see miss, like what happened right. just now. True. It's not good. Pretty sure, let's go for a sludge bomb right now. I see win. It goes for an IC win. Well I guess like I guess to rub it in, I guess. Yeah. Nothing, I mean, else. Nothing, nothing else. He, he wants to tell Kose that he's ice cold. Oh, someone needs to take a chill pill right now. Right there. All right, here we go. A 2 0 win comeback from Gary here. Now, the last match will decide whether who goes to the final in this yeah, case. Yeah, definitely. I'm, I'm really enjoying that we get to see game three right now. Yeah, it's fine when this happens, of course. I mean, because in the round one, we only got two games and that was just it, right? Yeah, I mean, like, steamrolling's nice for the person who wins, but you know, we want to watch. And yeah. That, that, that's not what we want, right, ladies and gentlemen? Yep. But 
Uh, I'm thinking here that what Kuo's should do in the next scene is yes, he leads Salamence, but he has Meowstic on field as well. True. And True. Ga Gary definitely needs to have Thunderous on field. Thunderous on the field. And, uh, Gengar? and I guess Gengar is the other side. He needs to threaten it out. I mean, Gary has realized that uh, Kuo's would not lead off the Xerneas for the sheer fact that Gengar and Scizor is just there. Yeah. So he could play around that, right? For the matter. In Gary here, he is really putting on the pressure with the feint on. Faint as well, on, we've seen yeah, yeah. On, and the Gengar as well. So I'm thinking here what Gary really needs is a form of speed control. He needs to either set up his own tailwind yep, if he true. has it, which so far revealed that it doesn't. <laughs> but we don't know because this is match three, and I think it's only revealed hyper voice all this time. Hyper voice, that was just nothing. hyper voice. Yep. And uh, I think I, Gary's form of speed control, like we've seen, is the thunderous going from Yeah, we got the, the thunderous. We have the Gengar. We have a lot of speed control, honestly. No and, tailwind for the matter. And Caesar yeah. also might as well carry tailwind for we know. Big plays here, folks. We might, we might, we might, we might see something cool through. coming from Gary for all we know, and we're hoping he does bring those cool moves. But until then, until then, we we'll just wait patiently and give you like little girls. Smut your. Oh. Hello. Testing, testing. Uh, uh, some technical error. All right, be good, be good. Yeah, we're still on mic. Okay, so both mics seem to be fine, I guess. Yeah. We're, we're okay, good. regardless, right, we're going back. We're waiting for them to make a decision now. Uh, Right. In the meantime, uh, how do you think Pokemon Sun and Moon now that the reveal has gone out? Hey, I'm on Team Litten. I'm, I'm kind of on Team Litten as well, you yeah. know. But uh, here we go, more importantly, it's a VG 2016 more match. Important. We'll talk about that later once this match is over. over. Alright, as we can see, Force meets off with Zenyus. Zenyus and Groudor, it's a very, very safe video. Two Sycamores right off the bat. Salamence, Thunderous. Oh. Right, this is oh, no, Thunderous Gengar, wow, okay. Bringing on the threats here. Yeah. But Groudon here is relatively safe. Uh, we've seen so it can potentially slow down uh, the Thunderous or the Gengar. But then again, like it only match if he uses Icy Wind. Right, right. I totally forgot if he connects still. So I think here, honestly, since he's gonna go definitely for Eruption, so. Switch out Gengar into Kaioke. Yeah, yeah, but let, let's face it, like it's definitely an eruption distance since both of them can't really do much damage. It's gonna be an eruption turn coming from of course. And on Gary's side is it, he, he's probably gonna switch out. I think he should switch out Gengar honestly. Just switch out Gengar bringing Kyogre, then Thun then Thunderous goes for a Thunder Wave. Or Thorn. I think Thunder Wave is better. Thunder Wave is much better. Uh, giving the ground system something Yeah, even if he goes for a Geomancy, it's gonna be mitigated by that. True. Since you cut the speed to to a quarter of its original speed. Yeah. Alright, so both players are making decisions. Gary has already made up his mind. If and and thunders, uh, this is not thunderous, I think a sludge bomb onto the ground on here since the the Zenith might, yeah, might go for protect. It's kinda obvious that Zenith might protect. But that is if it happens. Kyogre, so right here. Alright, what attacks did he decide to go for here? Getting the better control on Gary's side. Right so, now if, in the case if Groudon does go, yep, he goes Sludge Bomb. And he actually goes into the Xerneas. Wow, and look at that damage. And gets actually, the gets the poison. 30% oh skill, ladies and gentlemen. Oh Dazzling Gleam gonna do minimal damage. Oh, and actually, it, it does respectable damage. There you go, Fire Pie sizzles yeah. out. That was not a good now, not a <laughs> Next turn is just gonna Zerius is gonna die, so it really needs attack. Yeah. So I guess this turn for Gengar is a very simple Icy Wind and Protect from Kyogre. Icy Wind and protect, yep. needs to protect, you can just Icy Wind. Uh, quite a risky play coming from Coast there. I think the Protect would have been better on Zerius. Definitely. Should have anticipated much better the Yeah, since you have two things, I think switching out, even switching out Zerius would be the best play. Yeah, definitely. And going into something like less. But I guess there's nothing you can switch in. I mean, like, what is that? Meowstic? Smurgle? You should have set up the lights. Yeah, I think, I think this Meowstic and Xerneas or Meowstic Salamence will be a good lead, anyways. True, definitely. By leaving off all of your potential threats, your, your means of offense. Correct, off correct. Threat, you, know, you're you know, right off the bat, you need to do it. You have to do it. You gotta do it. Just for the show, right? No, I, that's the best move. Yep. He got, he switches out Groudon. Not the best move, honestly, and brings it to Meowstic. But here you go, Xerneas is just gonna go down to an icy win by, by Gengar since he's faster. Yep. And I guess a water spot or... Water spot is definitely a play. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... Because he needs a protect coming out, right? It's gonna hurt, like... 
It's gonna hurt hard, basically. Alright, did you see a Wallace? Did you see a Wallace Did you see a Wallace I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a Wallace should be able to KO right now. In rain, uh, high HP, single target. Single target, you know, for the matter, rain boosted. Yep. Oh. So here we go, Grado's gonna come in now. Can someone do the count on that? If, if Gengar actually has skill, skill swap, swap then things will be very, very, right very interesting. But we've seen it actually in the, in the Swiss rounds, he just can't Ah, exactly. Now, the thing is that Salamence threatens it quite a bit. But then again, it's a Gengar, who cares? Gengar is definitely faster than Salamence regardless. Yeah. So I think this then. Should go for it. No, I see we protect. Hopefully, if the Salamence doesn't protect this turn, true. Or he goes straight for the skill swap and another like water that water yeah, spot, I guess. Right but then again, the Salamence can just double edge. So I guess you just skill swap and then you ice speed. Yeah. Then, get rid of the Salamence right now. Let your two other Pokemon in the back handle the problem. Come in like now. Is this you chipping them enough for your next two Pokemon to come in and for the kill? So really, get uh, Gary's in a favorable position here. Yeah. I'm th I'm really thinking that double edge comes here. Yeah, definitely. And no, Kaido goes for protect. So that's what, that means Sa right. Salamence is going for protect. Yeah. That's and he got icy win. Oh, and then dealing massive damage there, Salamence. Times for weakness. You should call your Salamence Titanic because it really hit the ice oh break this time. Oh my goodness, I'll okay, keep wow. And goes for the double yeah, edge onto the Gengar. I think that's a good move. Yeah, it's alright, it's alright. And Precipice Blades to hopefully pick up the KO. But oh no, actually goes for a Fire Punch, wow. Now knowing that um, Kyogre is protected, I'm pretty sure um, Gary's going to bring on the Salamence. Yeah, and he'll, he'll just go for a Hyper Force. Switch up Kyogre, honestly. Just switch up Kyogre. Um, oh, Switch out Kyogre. So that later he can bring in his weather. True, but or he could just go full offense here. Yeah, yeah Ice Beam works too. I guess so. But here, like, he should really Ice Beam, uh, go for a Hyper Voice and Ice Beam. I'm pretty sure the Groudon's gonna go for a Rock too much to the south. Or a Protect, probably. Protect the matter. But look, now there's Icy Wind already, so the Salamence on Gary inside is definitely gonna be faster. Picking up the Hyper Voice skills right now. So yeah, it's so it's, easy, it's kinda easy, and that's actually quite a lot of damage on that Groudon. So exactly Ice Beam like, could even pick up the KO here. That's right, it's gonna pick up about 20% of damage right now. Pick up the KO, does it pick up the KO? And it yes, it does. So congratulations to Gary. He actually goes on to the finals yeah, of this premier challenge. Yep. Of course, did make it very well. Doing well, actually. I think that was a 4-0. No, it was a 3-0. No, yeah. Still a very respectable uh, play from Gary. Coming in with a few comebacks at the end there. Like yeah. I said, I think in the first it was just unfortunate he couldn't get the ice to wind up. Yeah, definitely. It's not who have gotten the lead. Correct, that's for sure. Alright, coming to see Gary in the finals, and he's going up against... So, uh, will oh, he be right. going up against... Get to be Gilles? announced, guys! <laughs> so, uh, right. let, let, uh, let's hold on while we get news on who actually won for the other semi-finals. Uh, you were mentioning about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, yes! Now, you see, I'm going to buy Pokemon Sun. And Same probably Moon as well. But I'm on Team Sun this time now. Which star do you pick? Rowland? I'm not Is this sure. for the first time ever? Are we gonna consider a grass type? No, I mean like I'm, I'm always, gra grass always types have, have kind of always been the in the early stages they look the coolest. Like Definitely we have bubble saw. Uh, bubble saw is alright. Even though I'd say the age of septile, the age uh, snivy, snivy. Yes, they had the in the early end, uh, but. Uh, knowing how Pokemon works, like probably uh, we have to wait until probably the next few reveals where uh, I'm, I'm guessing by then they'll reveal the final evolutions of the stuff. Yeah, but talking more about that, the legendaries of Pokemon Sun and Moon, what are your opinions on them? Oh, they, they, their designs look amazing. I'm amazing. thinking they're harking back to the Gen 4 kind of style, which is a little bit overcompensating, but it still works. Yeah, it still works. Definitely. Now we have you. have our Sol Galio and uh, Lunala, I think. I'm if not, not mistaken. Really sure of their names right now. But yeah, but, but regardless, uh, Team Sun here because I believe in jolly cooperation. Jolly cooperation. Well, there you go, folks. And I can't wait to explore the Lola region for that matter. Yeah, it, I'm. I'm guessing that will be pretty cool by then. But uh, for now, I will cut off the stream, and we'll see you for the finals of this match versus Kosti and uh, whoever's coming up next. Gary. See ya, Gary. No, uh, sorry, Gary Ng versus whoever won the other match. So uh, we'll catch you in, I guess, a few more minutes. See you guys. See you on the